All right, so this arena run shows off the new moose and some crazy just luck in scaling RNG. But uh, so the moose was changed so that it now is a tier four. And if it is the lowest tier pet, it gains coconut and five attack. And then if you level it up, it's 10 attack and then it's 15 attack. So quite a drastic change. The reason, uh, I guess the devs did not want the moose and the ostrich to have a similar ability. So they decided to change it. And it's pretty, uh, yeah, it's just very different now. Um, I don't really know if it's super good. The thing is, like, you don't usually want to take it on turn 7 or turn 8 or, like, even turn 9 probably. Just because uh, you have to pivot off of everything pretty much. And so it seems more like a unit that you would just kind of slot in, like, turn 10, 11, 12, something like that. I don't really know. I haven't played a ton with it, but uh, I guess we'll kind of find out. The devs also might revert these changes before it actually goes live. You never really know. Uh, just kind of depends on the feedback. So we'll see how this goes. Um, and it's still a 4-6, so I don't think they changed the base stats. I was experimenting with quite a few different builds. This is the test server, by the way. Uh, you can tell because of the slight little gray bar on the left. Also, you can tell from the backgrounds, just because I'm too lazy to crop that slight gray bar. Hopefully that doesn't b uh, bother anyone, but yeah. For some reason, when I play on the test server, that's there, but not there on the normal game. Don't know why. Um, so yeah, the, it's still getting updated. They. Uh, we'll probably change more things before this actually goes live, but the backgrounds, they look great. Um, I would love to see like a side-by-side -side comparison so I can actually see them specifically, but it seems like it's just like more detail, plus there's the new beach one. It looks pretty good. There's also more adjectives, don't want to forget about that. Apparently 30 new nouns and adjectives. Can't believe it. There's so many words that exist, you know? Who would have thought? Um, Dove, I've been experimenting with, just seems very good now. Strawberry Pets, I think, got a little bit of a nice buff with the Dove and the Puffin and things like that. So we'll see. Um, I still doubt that Pack 3 will be able to compete with the other packs, but, um, uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe it'll happen. Uh, looks like I'm just going for, like, Clownfish. The beginning is just, you know, standard stuff, I guess. Just trying to survive get a bunch of tempo things. There's still that little bug with the pill where it takes like multiple clicks before you can actually eat pill stuff. But uh, early crow and then I saw double moth. So I was like, okay, sure. Why not get uh, two level ups for two early tier fives? Sounds good to me. And the positioning here has been very sketchy. I haven't really been paying attention. Most of the time I'm just positioning for draws for whatever reason. I don't really know why I do that, especially since it causes me to lose pretty frequently. But I don't know. It's just like a habit of mine now. And look at that. Double early husky. That is just so lucky. Especially since I have absolutely no equipment. Man, that is some crazy scaling. Getting plus eight, plus eight a turn already. And it's only turn seven. That is so good. And I already have the good stats from the clownfish. So it's like, this is just an easy 10 win. I can just cruise from here, right? pretty much just AFK if I wanted to, and I might be able to win. That would actually, I wonder, huh, is that, that could be a challenge. Like, at what turn could you AFK and still get to 10 wins? If I just AFK'd from turn 7, or turn 8 onwards, do you think I would have actually won? Only plus 2, plus 2. I don't think we would have gotten 50-50s, and also definitely need equipment, I would say, so probably would end up losing if I didn't do anything. Um... But yeah, going for level 2 Husky, more scaling, plus I get plus 4, plus 4. I was doing a whole bunch of runs on stream where I was trying to make Tiger, Piranha, Moose work. Or a Tiger, Piranha, Rooster, like one of those two. Since uh, Piranha is now 3 attack instead of just 2, I thought I would try it out. And it's still kind of bad. Doesn't seem like it's going to get used too often. And look at that, triple Husky. Just so good. I thought about selling the Clownfish, but I mean, that's 1817. And I found another Husky and a Moose. So I was thinking I could just try to win with five Huskies, but I figured I would try to fit in the Moose. It's some free coconut. It actually works great with Husky. It's kind of, it's even better than Reindeer, I guess. I didn't even think about this until now, but look at that beautiful cascade of buffs. Yeah, so like, wait. I guess as long as you, you have to have the lowest tier, but it is just straight up just better. I guess the reindeer can get multiple melons, which might be nice on level up versus just getting the extra attack. 
But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I've been saying that a lot. I really don't know anything, actually. It turns out I wish I knew things, but knowing things overrated. I would prefer to just know nothing. That way I fear nothing, right? I don't think that makes any sense. Whatever. You know what? I just don't think about it, all right? It's weird that, like, the buffs, the level 2 huskies go together, but the level 1 husky doesn't. Is that just because of the same attack, maybe? This looks like a pretty strong team. Do I actually lose here? No, I draw. Okay. Yeah, obviously the problem with Husky is that I'm not going to be able to get any equipment on them until they're 50-50s. And that is a bit of a problem. So, just scaling up the moose. Probably... Oh, looks like I forgot about the T-Rex buff. <laughs> Classic mistake. That's the kind of thing that, like, you play this game for a thousand hours... Uh, still make that beginner mistake. Love to see it. And now it tells you with the little red shake. That's a nice little addition. Always want to be known when you're making mistakes. Uh, yeah, so random movie that I saw recently, Reanimator. It's a movie from like the 80s. It's a horror film about a guy who like invents a serum to bring back things from life to life, I should say. Yeah, it's pretty good, I would I think. Uh, I mentioned, like, Suspiria. I personally enjoyed this way more. It's got a lot of blood and, like, gore and stuff. I feel like a lot of stuff from the 80s definitely has that when you're watching, like, horror movies. Like, the special effects are very, like, uh, practical. And so they look, uh, they don't, like, they age very well, I guess, is what I was trying to say. And you can see, I don't even have to do anything. Just scaling every turn. Love to see it. I guess, uh, I feel like I should say more about the movie. Um, and also, I don't know why, but, like, there's just these random summon teams. I almost want, this is, this has got to be the same person, like, running the same build or something. I don't know why, but it seems like you run into a lot of the same teams on the test server. Okay, <laughs> just decided to waste 10 gold. Just decided it's too much effort to buy anything. I could look for, like, level 2 moose or something. Maybe just get level 3 so it's, like, better for the thumbnail. Ah, who cares about that? Um, I completely forgot what I just said. Oh, yeah, you run into the same teams. Like, there's this naughty user that always seems to have, like, tropical fish, shrimp, like, skunk, yak. It, and it's just, like, insane stats. You just run into them over and over. I mean, I guess there's just not that many people on the test server, so you're much more likely to run into the same teams. Like, I mean, I think this is the same team. Uh, they seem, like, a little bit stronger, and it's a little scary because the eagle spawned a tapir, and the tapir spawned an orca, which spawned a tapir, which spawned an orca. And, of course, you get the fly spawns as well, so I was getting a little worried. And there's another eagle. There's an octo. Oh, my God. Okay, still one, but... Didn't have any lemon or anything. That would have been really sad if I lost that. Um, at this point, I should probably buy melon for some of the huskies. But, uh, spoiler, I decide to not buy anything. <laughs> I don't know why. I should have just bought equipment. I mean, it's 50-50 pretty much. Why not just give it melon at this point? I just decided I wanted to keep the buffs going every single turn. I'm surprised there's even teams like this late in the game. Usually, if you get far enough, you start fighting ghosts where the team is just randomly generated, I think. And they're usually really terrible because they have, like, no synergies and no scaling. And it's kind of just free wins. There we go. Okay, I guess I wanted the triple level 2 husky. That looks pretty nice. And it's almost 50-50s. Actually, oh, it's disappointing. 50-49 and a 50-48. So close. And, okay, looks like the mosquito popped the coconut. You hate to see it. And they have level 3 turtle, which is going to cause me to lose. <laughs> I love that I lost with this team. That's kind of funny. But, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to try out the test server, I guess you can check out the link in the description. See ya.